Hello everyone and welcome to another One Punch Man The Strongest video. Today we'll be doing an emblem guide. I do OPM content so if let's say you want to see more of such content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. For the emblems, it's made up of two parts. One is the emblem itself over here where you can actually upgrade it to actually increase your stats and also to upgrade this middle thing over here that will give you the emblem skill. So over here, we actually have four emblem skills. The second one is the Mirage Trial. The Mirage Trial can be found over here. So basically, it's a place whereby you can farm your materials to level up your emblems. For the emblems, it is made up of two parts. One is your emblem and another one is your mark. Your mark is your smaller stones over here. Take note that for increasing your emblem skills over in the middle, you only need to star up your emblems. So the level of your marks won't matter over here. There are three types of emblem. The first one is the orange emblem, which is the general emblem. Then the second one is your faction emblem, which is the ones in purple. And also you have your type emblem, the ones in blue. So you actually need to collect all these duplicates from either the Mirage Trials or the Supply Tickets in order to raise these emblems. So how you raise it is essentially once you get a duplicate, you can actually choose to upgrade it. Then this upgrade will provide you one stat point over here. So this stat point, once you collect 5 of it, you actually can increase the star level using a rainbow stone. So for mark, there are three types of mark. You have your mark 1, mark 2 and mark 3. The mark 1 is the brown marks over here. The mark 2 is your blue marks over here. And mark 3, which is the yellow mark over here. So all these marks will have their own substat. For example, the attack, defense, HP and also shield effect. So over here, we have a mark 1 with a shield effect. Over here, we have a Mark 2 with a defense, and over here, we have a Mark 3 with an attack. So, all this Mark can be leveled up. So, if let's say you have any materials over here that you actually gotten from the Mirage Trial or the Supplies, you can actually press the tear up button over here and fill up this bar over here. So, once the bar is filled up, you will see an option for you to evolve it. So you actually need the Mark Ascension Stones to actually tear up the Mark itself. So the Mark Ascension Stones will look something like this. So once you have 1 star the emblem at the top, and you have reached tier 2 for each of these emblems itself, you will actually unlock the star effect over here. So essentially 1 star of the emblem and tier 2 of the marks itself and from there you can get more stats if let's say your emblem is two stars and your marks are tier 3 then you can unlock the two star effect which will give you more stats so once you have farmed up the material to tear up all these marks over at the bottom you can actually just click on the emblem like this and do one round to see whether you have any marks that are low level Ideally, you want to have a 1 star on the emblem and a 2 tiers on the mark itself. Then if let's say you have a 2 star emblem, ideally you want to have all your marks at tier 3. So basically, you just go ahead and fill this thing up. Then from there, you use a rainbow stone to 1 star the emblem. Then from there, you 1 star all of these emblems. And from there, you are able to level 2 onto the Undying Shield itself. So, you can take a look on the right side. So, if let's say your Emblem skill is level 1, it will be this passive over here. If let's say it is level 2, it will be this passive over here. All the way until level 4. For most players, what they do is actually they will go for the level 2 on the Undying Shield first. Then from there, they'll one star all of their emblems. Ideally, you want to get this distorted view, which is currently not open yet, to level 1 or this level 2 undying shield first. 
then from there you focus on the rest because for this uh, sharp blade itself it will actually give all attack then for eternal heart it will give all hp then for undying shield and distorted view is your utility emblems so generally for undying shield is a more defensive emblem and for this distorted view is a more aggressive emblem next we'll be looking at the mirage trial so the mirage trial have two parts one is your trials and one is your bounty mission at the bottom so for the trial itself it's made up of two parts one is the stable and one is the wow so for stable itself you can actually get the blue emblems and also the brown marks when you clear the stage however as you progress later on you will actually get the purple emblem itself then over here you'll notice there are these uh, boss stages in purple at the top so all these four stages will give you the supply tickets for you to draw for your emblems and also marks then for the wild over here it will generally give you better rewards however they will be harder to clear so you'll get your mark tree and also some purple emblems from here as well next will be your bounty mission at the bottom so for bounty mission itself it has two parts one is your bounty mission and also your bounty mission meter so for the bounty mission itself is split up into four types of quests your class s class a class b and class c so for all these different classes itself it will grant you different reward for example your class s gives you mark 3 your class a will give you mark 2 and your class b and c will give you mark 1 so generally the class S will be the most difficult to beat then for class A it will be slightly less challenging and for class C it will be the easiest to beat Actually, you want to have 3 characters with SAC so from there you just put in 3 DPS characters on each team then you go ahead and try to clear for the stages so once you beat the stage you will get 4 bounty score so this bounty score will be used to fill up your bounty mission meter on the left side. So once it's filled up to 24 points, you'll unlock this emblem stone over here. And from there, you can actually star up your emblem itself. However, if let's say you did not manage to hit the full 24, don't worry about it. You will actually just stop the meter over there. So on the next reset, once you come in, you will actually have 16 points straight away so you only need 8 more points to get the emblem stone itself so the reset is on monday 5 am and thursday 5 am so generally you will actually get 4 attempts per reset so if let's say you choose to reset it 2 additional times it will be 300 diamonds and it will add up to 600 diamonds per week so essentially you are going to be using up 85 diamonds so for most players i would say this one is not needed because the points over here on the left side it will stay at 16 if let's say you do not reset for it then once the reset comes in you can actually continue to fill up the meter so this mirage trial itself essentially it will give you materials to increase your emblem and also mark level so for bounty mission, it will give you your mark 1, mark 2 and mark 3 which will help to increase your mark level and from there you have your mark ascension stone that will help you to tear up the marks itself then for this emblem stone, it will be used to star up your emblems then for emblem farming, it can be found on the trials over here and you will have the emblems over here on the stable and also in the future stages for the wall it will also give you the emblem so this one is a rough idea of how the emblem system looks like and also credits for Jay from the OPM server he's from the CN server so he has been very helpful in providing us with the info that we need so for this emblems itself it's made up of two parts your emblems and your mark so your emblem can be categorized into your general emblem, faction emblem, and type emblem. So generally you want to get the emblems from Mirage Trial and also supply tickets. 
Then from there, get duplicates to fill the bar. And from there, star it up with the rainbow stone. Then if you have any emblem selected, be sure to select only the ones that you are lacking. Then for the mark itself, it's split up into three parts. Your mark 1, mark 2 and mark 3. So generally, it will give you HP, attack, defense and also shield effect. Then for materials itself, from the Mirage Trials, you actually level up the marks. Then once the marks are fully leveled up, you can straight away tear it up by using these mark ascension stones that you got from the bounty missions of the Mirage Trials. Then also try to distribute the marks evenly so that you are able to maximize on the star effect. So once all these emblems are activated, you are able to level up the emblem skill. So from there, if let's say all the emblems are one star, you can actually level to the emblem skill for more passive effect and also more stats. So you want to look through once in a while to see whether you have anything that you are able to upgrade. Then for your Mirage Trial generally is to actually farm for the materials that is needed to raise your emblems and also your mark. So as of now, the stable stages will give you the blue emblems and also the brown marks. Then also the four stages will give you supply tickets. Then for the WoW, it will actually give you Mark 3 and also some supply tickets. Then for the bounty mission, the one at the bottom, it will give you four quests, S class, A class, B class and C class. So all these will actually give you the materials that's needed for your marks itself. And also, if let's say you fill up the meter, you can actually get the mark and also the emblem ascension stones, which can help to either tear up your mark or star up your emblem. So as of now, what the Mirage Trial provides is actually only mark 1, mark 2, mark 3, the blue emblem and also the mark and emblem ascension stones. What it does not provide is actually the purple emblem and also the orange emblem. However, we got info from Jay that for the purple emblem and also the orange emblem, you will actually be available in later stages of the stable and wow for the trials itself. So some frequently asked questions by everyone. What emblem skill should I go for first? So generally, you actually want to get the level 2 Undying Shield emblem first or the level 1 distorted field first. Then from there, you get the other non-utility uh, emblem skills, so your eternal heart and also your sharp blade. Then for bounty mission, is it worth to reset for free-to-play players? This one, I'll say no, because essentially you are using 600 diamonds per week, so essentially about 85 diamonds a day. However, even with the additional ascension stone, you are not able to star up your emblems due to a lack of emblem. Then also is the lifetime card worth buying for low spender. This one I'll say is one extra challenge per day and also one extra ticket per day. About 150 diamonds a ticket value. So this one is up to you. And also what team should I be using to farm for these missions itself? This one, I'll say you can use one DPS unit with SAC on each team and also five filler units. Generally, you actually want to have your bonus damage to be used inside the Mirage Trial. So for example, your CK and also your ATT. Then also, how long does it take to get one level of Emblem skill? This one is an estimate one to two months per level. Then without purchase, from any mystery shop and also without the lifetime supply pack. And also, when should I draw my supply tickets? There will actually be mid-month event that rewards you for drawing in the supply ticket. So definitely keep a lookout for this uh, mid-month event itself. So all in all, I feel that these emblems are very similar to cause in the sense that for emblems, you can actually enhance it in the emblems tab. For course, you can actually enhance it in the laboratory. 
and for emblems, it can be found in the Mirage Trials, whereas the cores can be found in the Core Trials. So emblems generally give lower base stats as compared to cores and are more difficult to level. However, they give more utility passive, for example your Undying Shield and also your Distorted Field. So I would say it's sort of a cheaper version as compared to the core because for the course you actually need to reset one time for the home request so the 25 diamonds a day to increase the core level however for this emblem trials itself because you don't have to put in the diamonds to increase your emblem level so this one is considered still quite okay overall i would say the impact of having a high level emblem will be somewhat similar to having a high level core and also, it is important to do our best to level the emblems. However, it is not something that you should stress over. So that's all I have for today. If you found this helpful, be sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel for more future content. With that, thank you for watching and have a nice day. Goodbye.